Hey YouTube, Rook here, another Rook toy hunting journey, and I'm going to be doing another toy hunt today. I'm a little late on this toy hunt because the Star Wars Celebration dropped a few days ago. This is the actual weekend of Celebration, and there are some Funko products that has come out, but I know for a fact I will not be able to find them. I'm looking for the hooded Luke Skywalker and the hologram Qui-Gon Jinn. Now, it's going to be, I believe, a GameStop exclusive and a Target exclusive, so I'm going to be hitting those stores exclusively today, see if I can find anything. I'm um, also going to be going to just some other spots, maybe a Toys R Us, maybe the FYE, maybe a Hot Topic, and see what I can come across. Um, today's going to be, besides looking for those Star Wars exclusives, just an open day to see what I can actually find. So that being said, guys, let's go out there, hunt, and find some cool stuff. Be back shortly. Okay guys, so I decided to hit Toys R Us first to see what they had made my rounds. Um, they actually getting the new uh, wave of Marvel Legend line in. This is Dazzler, part of the Warlock wave, if you can see here. Um, that's Warlock, she needs a piece needed to build the entire figure for Warlock. It looks pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to get this wave. Uh, the only one I really like on this particular wave would be the Cyclops, which would be number 5, which is that one right there. And maybe Shatterstar, the only two I really like on this particular wave. But at least they're starting to get the new Legends wave in, which is really nice. Uh, of course, I still have Angela here for the uh, Guardians wave. Uh, looking around at the other figures on the shelf, uh, this is a really nice one they have here. It's a two-pack for um, Guardians of the Galaxy, for Yandu and Star-Lord. Really nice two-pack uh, in the three and three-quarter inch line. I believe these are Toys R Us exclusives. It might be. I'm not entirely sure. I know they have this one and they have the Doctor Strange uh, two-pack as well. Uh, if we swing over to the Black series, of course, this weekend is Star Wars Celebration, which is the 40th anniversary of Star Wars. Um, nothing really great at Toys R Us, of course, so uh, let's head over to the uh, other action figure side, which would be Power Rangers. Okay, so we're hitting the Power Rangers section, and they have the new two-pack. This is, of course, the Rita and Zordon two-pack which of course is the Green Ranger, Red Ranger, uh, from the Power Rangers movie, and if you notice it is a Toys R Us exclusive. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get this one yet, I haven't decided. Uh, what makes this one a very interesting sort of two-pack is I want you to look at the Red Ranger in particular. There is a different sculpt between the standard Red Ranger Zordon and the Red Ranger that you can buy individually. There is no battle damage on this Red Ranger as you see here, but on this one he does, if you look at the top of the pa packaging, He's beat up, because in the actual movie, he gets beat up really, really badly in the actual film itself. Uh, spoiler. <laughs> it's easy right here. So, I don't know about this one. I'm thinking about this one in particular. Um, again, they have the really, 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 really big Power Ranger Megazord. This is a five-in-one combiner. Uh, really massive uh, Megazord. Again, not my favorite Megazord. Again, I didn't like the actual designs they just used for the actual Power Rangers movie. Um, but, I don't know. What do you guys think about this two-pack? Is it worth getting? Let me know in the comment section if I should actually pick this up or not. Um, heading over here. Now, something over here was very, very interesting. Uh, they're starting to get in the new DC Multiverse wave. This is the King Shark Build-A-Figure. This zoom looks awesome. This zoom looks really, really cool. Um, I'm really tempted to pick this guy up. Um, he does is part of the uh, King Shark build a wave uh, build a figure. Uh, so you have Flash from Earth Two, Zoom, Jim Gordon, Batman, Batgirl, Hawkman, and the Joker. Um, really nice packaging, as you can see here. I just think he looks really, really cool. Um, I'm gonna pick him up. I'm gonna pick him up. I just think he looks so different. I love the way he looks. I'm definitely gonna pick up this figure. So as you guys normally know, I do. Spin around here. Yes! <clears throat> yes! It's a nice thumbnail right there. Mm. So I'm definitely going to get this guy here. I think he looks really cool. Um, the Jay Garrick looks really cool as well. Um, let me pull him down so you can kind of see because I'm getting a lot, of, uh, a lot of light on there. He looks really cool too. 
great sculpt on him. Again, comes with extra pieces for King Shark over here for the Build-A-Way figure. Uh, side shot of if you wanted to see what he would look like on the side, and of course on the other side, and on the back. Uh, they have the new Batgirl one, which is a part of, you know, this wave here, of course. Uh, really nice figure. Um, I don't know about the Batgirl, maybe. <coughs> the Wonder Woman looks really nice. I mean, look at the, the, the sculpting they did for her robe. Um, she, I believe, is in her own wave. Yeah, she's, she's part of the Ares wave. This is a different uh, Build-A-Figure. This is only four figures needed to build this particular figure here. It looks really nice. Really, really good sculpt on that one. Let's head over to the wrestling section. Okay, so we're inside the wrestling section. And, of course, there is no Nakamura. Which, of course, leaves Rook, as always, a sad panda. <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, they have that really awesome Kevin Owens figure. They finally starting to get the AJ wave here. About damn time. It's taken long enough to, for Toys R Us to freaking get it in stock, which is pretty bad if you want my opinion. They should have gotten this stuff in way earlier. Going to the Transformers section, um, they got this new Voyager here, Broadside, part of the Titan Returns series. And of course, they still have the Chaos of the, uh, Velocitron here, which is, I talked about that in a, like, Three or four uh, hunts ago, I actually saw this guy here. I believe it's a hundred bucks, and I think you get five figures in this one here. Um, let me actually grab it so you can kind of see what it would look like. It's a really, really big box. I mean, it's really, really large. Um, these are the guys you can get on it. You can get you get uh, Rodimus's Headmaster. You get Fast Clash. You get Autobot uh, Nautica. You get Laser Prime, and you get Quick Switch. So, I mean, it's a really, really big box. You get a lot of product in this box. But, again, I've stopped collecting Transformers at the moment. I don't like the Titans Return stuff. So, I'm not a really big fan of it. Uh, 100 bucks for five figures. Um, I don't think that's that bad. <coughs> Truly, I don't think it's that bad. But one of the items you're getting is a Headmaster. So, eh. Mm, you know, that's kind of, you know, you're really getting four figures and a Headmaster, in, in theory. So, it's, eh, it's all right. Um... Going back over here to the other Transformer stuff. Again, nothing really great. Uh, they have a new Autobot helmet here of Optimus' Auto, head, which looks really nice. You're starting to get some of the new Transformer Last Night product in, as you can see. Uh, this is a small little version of Barricade. So they are starting to get a few things in for the Last Night. Um, they got this, I guess this is a, this is a quick change uh, Bumblebee, I would assume. Yeah, this is one of those quick ones where you just... You know, it's two, it's like, I think it's like one step. Yeah, I think it's a one step transformation. And the same thing with the barricade figure here. And they have one, I think, for Hound. Yes, Hound as well. So if you're in the Transformers, and if you like the one stop, one, uh, one uh, step changers, they actually got uh, at least all four of these in stock now. So they are at least getting them at Toys R Us, at least my Toys R Us here, which is pretty cool. Let's head over to the uh, Funko side and see what they got back shortly. Okay, so they have a little Funko display here, and nothing great on this side. They have the uh, the ECC uh, Dwarves for Green Arrow and Black Canary still. Um, over here, I am going to get him. I've been wanting to get Mojo Jojo for a while. I have the original first, uh, first to market Powerpuff Girl, so I'm definitely going to get him. Let me spin around so you can see him in all his glory. There he is right there. Mojo Jojo! <laughs> Love Mojo Jojo. I need to have him to complete my uh, Powerpuff Girl set. I don't want to get him, even though he's sitting right here. I can get him. I just don't really want it. So um, that's him. If you wanted to see what it would look like, but we're gonna get Mojo Jojo. <laughs> so we're gonna get two pieces here. We're gonna get, of course, we're gonna get the uh, Zoom figure, and we're gonna get Mojo Jojo. Uh, what else here? They have some of the uh, Kingdom Hearts stuff, but that's about it on this shelf. Let's head to the actual real Funko section see what they got. Okay, so we're at the bigger Funko section they have here. They have all their rock candies, of course. Um, nothing great for as far as pops on this side. Of course, they still have the Dorbs here with Deadpool. Uh, they always have that one here. And of course, they have more of the ECC Green Arrow and Black Canary. Coming over to the other side. Um, eventually, I want to get that Ken and Ryu. I just, I'm not going to get them on this particular hunt, but I definitely want to get those particular ones. Uh, they, of course, they have their Mega Pops. 
which always look really, really nice. Um, I do like the, um, the Spider Gwen, especially the soft goods material here, which feels really nice. It's nice cloth material. Um, I mean, she's really, really big, as you can see me holding her. Uh, I wish I had one of these for Green Lantern, but unfortunately they do not. And they're about 25 bucks, you see the price point on them. Um, for this type of figure, or, or plush, I think that's a very good price point, in my opinion, here. Um, we're going to swing back around to the action figure section to see what they got here. You guys know I always take a look here at the action figure stuff, which they put like more of the adult-based action figure stuff and a lot of the, action fi a lot of the uh, games as well in this section. But um, nothing really great. They have this really weird uh, proton pack for Ghostbusters. If I can hold it up here, that would be good. Um, I guess you could project the ghost on a wall. I'm, I'm guessing that's what you can do here. See that kid doing it right there? So you can make Slimer appear on a wall. Cool little uh, you know, proton pack projector. They didn't have anything like that when I was a kid. I would love that. Uh, but that's about it on this side, guys. And that looks like it's all for Toys R Us on this hunt. So. Uh, we're going to move on to probably uh, FYE and Hot Topic next. Okay, before I actually left Toys R Us, I swung over to the front of the store and they have a small display for the Star Wars 40th anniversary. Um, it's a very small display. Literally, as you see me shooting here, this is the size of the display. It's really small. It fits basically in a small quarter section of a wall. And I don't have a whole lot of product. The only thing that really shows 40th anniversary, at least from what I'm seeing here, are these puzzles. Uh, this R2 puzzle here and the trench run puzzle um, and that's about it for 40th anniversary uh, that's all I really see of course they have Rogue One but that's about it for the 40th anniversary as far as product oh and they have a Monopoly down here too I stand corrected that's about it for the 40th anniversary in this section I thought they would have a lot more but unfortunately they do not so uh, let's keep on moving along Okay guys, the hunt for today was over a little quicker than I would have liked. I wanted to go to my local mall and I wanted to go to Target, but unfortunately those were closed because of Easter. Again, happy Easter to all my subscribers and all my fans out there. I want to wish you all a happy Easter, but unfortunately today it wasn't a good hunt for me because of Easter. We did pick a few things up at Toys R Us, so let's actually look at what we picked up. We picked up the Funko Mojo Jojo. I needed this one to complete at least my Powerpuff Girl collection of Butters. Bubbles and uh, Buttercup. So I needed to get, because I have these three already, and I got those when they originally released back in 2000 and I believe 16 uh, for, uh, they were first to market, Hot Topic had those at that time. So uh, Mojo Jojo looks awesome. I needed to get this guy, I wanted him really, really badly because he just looks so cool. I mean, he looks really, really great. Uh, great paint on him, no bobblehead, which is fine, I love that. Uh, I love the face here, I love the little grin he has. The smirk and he has this really cool cape uh, the cape has this on a little swoosh effect if you notice here it's coming back this way yeah it's going back this way I do like the little detail of the cape it looks really really nice so I think they did a really great job um, with Mojo Jojo um, he does not have a figure stand now uh, this guy here, which was the uh, Zoom figure for the multiverse, the DC multiverse, which is part of the King Shark wave, which is here. Uh, this is one of the pieces you would use to build the King Shark figure. Um, I thought he just looks really, really great. I love the lightning effect here that are coming off his shoulders. He actually has two more at the bottom here. He has one here and one over here. I think he looks really, really cool. Um, I wanted to get him because I do like the Flash TV show, and I would love to get uh, another figure of just Flash itself, the uh, Barry Allen Flash from the multiverse here. i got to see if I can find one of him just to have him for him and Zoom. So I think it would be a really cool uh, piece to have them both together. I hope you guys liked this quick hunt. Again, I do apologize for it ending quicker than I would have liked. Remember to click that like button. Always click subscribe at the bottom of the page here. And you can watch Windows over here to watch more of my content. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next hunt. And bye-bye.